So I'm back and today I wanted to do Ranch of the Week. I actually have a few planned out. Uh, so, so we're actually going to have some more discussion topics. Um, things that I thought I did want rants on before. Maybe I did, but I can't find them. So we'll do them again if, if I did. And if I didn't, cool. New, new rant videos. <laughs> um, so... Today's topic is going to be repaints. Now, I've I've bitched about repaints on this channel many times. Anybody that's watched me knows that I bitched about repaints. Now, that aside, I'm not going to sit here and tell you repaint shouldn't happen because I'm a Transformers fan. And I know since, I mean, the entire like first two years of Transformers were just repaints from other toy lines. So it's like repaints are a necessity for Transformers. However, it got a little out of hand, especially with um, Combiner Wars, uh, because we're getting characters that were never repaints of other characters repainted into. You know, it's like, uh, what was his name? Off-Road, who was a truck for the Stunticons, which I was like, Okay, I can see a, a truck going in there. All right, you know that's kind of cool. Um, you know, I I live in the mountains, so I see off-road trucks um, that can go really fast. So I, you know what? I'm okay with it. It was okay. But anyway, he gets repainted into uh, Ironhide, who gets repainted into uh, Ratchet, who got repainted into First Aid, and it's like these characters never shared a mold before. Why are they sharing one now? And it just got a little, a little ridiculous there. However, the more of the topic today is the repaints that didn't happen. That I don't know why. It 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 kind of baffles my mind, like why we didn't get these repaints, especially like in certain when we get into these topics in certain of these things heydays it's like those things would have sold like crazy um so a lot of this is we're going to talk about third party because they do repaints just about almost as much as hasbro and takara do um just for that mp10 mode good god they've beaten that thing to death <laughs> nobody's gonna get close to that one uh, that's, I mean, he's as bad as the Seeker mold. At least the Seekers are doing different characters. The MT-10 mold. Jesus. Anyway, sorry. Uh, let's start off with um, TFC. There, there's a whole slew. I'm going to do a whole episode of just TFC. Um, Devastator. They did the green version. And then they did a, a Shattered Glass version. But they never did the G2 version... Which was like a given, and, and that was like, I would have loved to see that set as a G2 version, but they never did it. Um, also, there could have been that orange version um, that we've seen other companies do. So it was just kind of like weird that they didn't do that. Uh, moving on, Superior again. They never did. They didn't never did a repaint on that that set at all. It's just like it was one and done. They they never did the G two version, which is like, you know, it's like I, I totally you know like I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because you know I hated Combiner Wars repaint so much, and, and part of the reason why I don't collect Marvel Legends anymore is because. They're all just the same mold over and over again. You know, they have like five or six molds, and it's just like, you know, okay, let's paint this one black. Let's paint this one blue. Let's paint this one red. And it's like, wow, okay. No no new molds, no new sculpts, just a couple new details. But anyway, at the same time, repainting things is a way to make more money off a mold, especially when we're talking about these kind of molds where they're expensive. They're not... You know, you're talking thousands of dollars a, a figure. Um, but anyway, so Superior and I were, never got repainted. Um, the Defensor, you know, there there was some test images of a G2 Defensor at one point. Um, but I don't think one ever really came out. It could be wrong on that one. But anyway, it's like, you know, again, a G2 version would have been, you know, 
would have been an easy sell. Um, Predacons that you know they had their Predacon set, and that, again that didn't get uh, repainted at all. Although you know one can argue that well there was never a repaint of the Predacons, but there was somebody that did a dig bash of the TFC Predacons as the um, trans metal versions of Beast Wars uh, characters. You know like. Tantrum or Headstrong was Rhinox and Rampage was Cheetor and uh, and so on and it's like that was such a cool idea that if they would have retooled a couple of those um, it would have it would have been really cool and yeah it would have been like not too many people would have bought that you know I I I, I know I would have but I don't think a lot of them a lot of people would have bought it so I mean it's I'm not sitting here saying like, oh man, that was a must. But it's it's just one of those like missed opportunities they could have. At this point, the, these these molds are so old and dated. I don't think they would get too much interest. That like um, not too long ago, BBTS had had most of these old molds come back up, and they were two hundred dollars for the set. I, I think they still have some of them up there, and it's like you know it's like two hundred bucks. For brand for a brand new set, and it's like, wow, okay, that's <laughs> you know, it's like that's that's just super cheap for these things when they were a hundred dollars a figure before. Um, but anyway, um, and then most boggling, like the C cons. Uh, so they have the C con set, which you know, er, most people seem to enjoy it. I know I liked it, but we never got a. And then we got like a, a black nemesis version, and then we had like a, a stealth version, but we never got. Um, I can't remember his name, but it was in Beast Wars Neo. It was an actual character, uh, and it was like a white version of him. Um, Poseidon, I think it was King Poseidon, maybe. Maybe I, 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 I I'm. Mm, yeah, I can't remember it. But it's just like, why wouldn't you repaint that? You know, it's like, what purpose of not re... Why, why would you do black repaints instead of the white repaint of a character that actually exists that, that I know that... I know people that wanted to buy that. And they would have bought it, like, right away if they saw it. Um, yeah, and... and you know, there's, there's others, too. It's like... Um, it's like you look at most of the Devastator, or the Bruticuses that have come out. Um, not many of them got repainted into the R.I.D. Ruin Nation. And with the R.I.D. Ruin Nation, there's also like, there's the tan camo version, and then there's the snow camo version. Uh, which, you know, those could be like limited exclusives uh, for like a TF Con or something, or, 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 you know, something along those lines. Which, that would have been cool, because, I mean, hell, if I could get... Uh, the Warbatron Bruticus in the blue ice camo at a TFCon. I I might do that because that'd be pretty cool looking. I mean, I don't I don't think like it would be good for a regular release, but like definitely a um, exclusive. Um, I don't think anybody's done a full uh, G2 Stunticons outside of the. Um, outside of Hasbro and the same thing with the G2 Bruticus um and I, th I think one of the Legends Bruticuses did do a, a, a Ruination but none of the bigger ones have and it's just it's so weird that they would make something like that and for the most part there's existing characters or there's existing colors uh alternate colors for these sets that people would buy but they don't do it it's it's strange um you know i thought for sure we'd see a g2 um combined wars devastator we didn't get that we got like three different versions of the green devastator but i don't think we ever got the g2's version and, and again it's like 
you know, why not? I mean, and then we get Toy World over there that's like, well, we're going to give you every single repaint of this Devastator that, that you've ever imagined. But I think the big big reason why they did that was because, you know, they, they were joined with Z Zeta Toys, and then Zeta Toys pulled off of them and took a lot of their designs and ideas with them. So it's like they're just sitting here like, well, we need to make money, so people like the Devastator, let's just keep making them. So, or I, I, I get... I get I, that's my assumption. I don't know for a fact on that one, but um, let's see. You know, it's just. I mean, the list goes on, so it's just like it's so weird that we get black repaints of almost everything, but we're not getting repaints of characters that that existed. You know, like like I said, G two Bruticus. Where's that? You know, G two Superior. Where's that? I mean, that I think that would have. Not sold as well as the G1 version, um, but it's gonna sell enough to make it like, you know, why not? Why not just make it uh, fans project? Uh, so they they released the the their Ninja Insecticons, which were which were pretty cool, especially for the time. They were they were awesome for their time, um, and the eBay prices on them, you know, go to at the time were you know clear evidence of how cool they were because they were going for 150 dollars a piece when they were fifty bucks each originally. Um and then they then they did the repaint, which was the Iron Battalion, which was the the deluxe bugs. So we had, you know all we had six out of the seven uh G one Insecticons. Um but with the Iron Battalion, they gave them new uh, parts that made them essentially look more G1 accurate to the main three Insecticons. Um, and it was like, that was cool. But it's like, if they would have taken those parts and put them on the, the Ninja Insecticons and repainted it all so that the Ninja Insecticons would look more G1... I think they would then be able to sell another batch. I, th I, th you know, unlike some of the like the TFC stuff where it's like I think it's too late to re-release Hercules as a G2 color because everyone's gonna be like, well, I've already got this guy or I've got this guy. Um, there isn't too many chug options for Insecticon, so it's like if Fans Project were to do that now, I still think they would make some money off of not not as much as they would have if they had done it years ago. But I do think they would have made some make some money off of it. Um it's just it's just so weird to see these companies that are like, yes, we're gonna make make a whole new mold of all these characters, and then we're the only repaints we're gonna do, if we do repaints, is gonna be random black version. And it's like, why black version? Yeah, it's just you know, I get the whole Nemesis Prime thing, but we don't need Nemesis everybody. I mean, although that would be kind of cool to have, like, a G1 Autobot shelf and a G1 Decepticon shelf and then a G1 Nemesis version of both Autobot and Decepticon. But it's, uh, it's also one of those, like, you know, if I could get them for free, then yes, I would have a shelf of that, but I'm not going to spend the same amount of money on them over and over and over again. But it's just... And I get, and I get that you know, not everybody's going to be wanting to buy the G two Devastator version, um, for example. You know, going back to the Hercules, but to do the Shattered Glass version instead, which I, I still think BBTS has a bunch of those sitting around because nobody really asked for that, <laughs> and I don't think many people wanted it. Um, I think I think they would have sold more G2 versions than the Shattered Class. And maybe it was just a risk that they took. But then it's like, where's the risk with the Superior? Because they never did anything with the Superior. I just, it doesn't make sense that in the Transformer universe, you wouldn't repaint something at least once. Because every mold, every G1 mold, I believe, anyway has at least one repaint out there somewhere. You know, 
Optimus was re a repaint of a Diaclone, who get, then got repainted into the core part of Ultra Magnus. You know, Megatron, there's the brown version, there's a gray version, and the silver version. Um, the, I mean, the list can go on. You know, either going back to the Diaclone or going into G2 um, or beyond, because like R.I.D., for example, pulled from G2 and G1 characters, and so did the Universe line, uh, the original Universe line. I, Not the Universe 2.0. Uh, they had repaints of other characters from other lines, but it's just, you know, to get repaints of characters in colors that most people didn't care about, or they're just making up, as opposed to existing characters or existing paint jobs. It's just, it's just weird to me. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I, I wish other, yeah, I wish, I wish, you know, <sighs> yeah, I just wish that people would, or companies would, you know, keep that in mind when they're making all these figures, because it's like, you know, we got like three Devastators or Bruticuses coming out or whatever, and rather than doing one, it's like when TFC and Make Toys first started the Combiner Wars, we'll call it Combiner Wars because that's what it was, you know, where there's two companies competing uh, with the same, same character, and they're both Combiners, so it was a really big challenge. Uh, you know, you have TFC over here that's making the bigger one, that's making the G1 green, and then Make Toys is like, you know what? We're not going to do green. We're going to go with yellow for our initial release. And it's like, why can't any of these companies now think of something like that? Like, you know, there's, there's, fan. I mean, of course, Fan Toys isn't going to do it, but, but you know, Fan Toys is doing the the G1. Why can like X Transbots do G2? Um, or, you know, all the Bruticuses. One of the, one of the many Bruticuses could have been in a G2 or, you know, or Ruination color. Nobody's done a Masterpiece Ruination yet. I mean, how cool would that have been? That would have definitely set, say, like, MMC, who's really late to the game at this point. Uh, but they're still going ahead with their, dev, uh, with their Bruticus. So it's like, how cool would that have been if they would have just been like, you know what, we're going to start with the Ruination set. Uh, you know, it's like, I think that would draw more people, especially me, because it's like, I don't want the Zeta Bruticus. I don't. I, you know, I, I got a couple of the, you know, I got a chance to look at it. I, I didn't like it. Um, I got a couple of the unique toys. I thought those guys were built pretty well, but it's like, you know, it's just not my cup of tea. But Ruination kind of holds a different, a different spot in my heart because I had that set, um, when R.I.D. first came out, I had like one of the original Combaticons, and that was um, Brawl. I think I knew somebody that had Blast Off, but for whatever reason, I think it was a different color Blast Off because uh, it was white. So it might have been the G2. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, that's that's not the point here. Uh, but it's like, I had the Ruination because I remember going to the store and being like, oh, okay, I have $10, so I'm going to get Brawl. And then I've got $10, I'm going to get this one, or whatever their their names were. And I just was like, this thing is cool because it's like, it's G1, but it's also kind of new. So it's like, I would pick up a Ruination in that scale. Uh, potentially, you know, I mean, I'm not guaranteeing my money right now like I'm gonna buy it but it's like you know I'd be more inclined to buy that than I would buy a masterpiece Bruticus um, at least to look at and then sell later at the, at the very least um, so what are you guys' thoughts on this um, and what what do you guys you know like is there a character or characters that that I missed here that like you really wanted to see repaints of and we haven't seen it yet. Uh, you know, another good one, which, you know, there's an argument to it, is the Masterpiece Cheetor into Tigertron. I, I think there's a KO company that's doing it. But it's like, you know, you could argue that they're just, in the cartoon, they're two different sizes. So it's it's not feasible to do the repaint, even if the toys were repaints of each other. Um, but, but still, it's like, why hasn't it happened yet? I mean, I just, 
I don't know. But anyway, do you guys have any examples of something like that that's happened where it's like, I wanted this, but instead I got just random black guy. Yeah. I mean, that sounded really bad. Uh, <laughs> but random black transformer, you know, just, it's just, it's bizarre, you know, seeing all these nemesis versions of things. And it's like, uh, I, I just, I can't, I, I don't like the nemesis versions. I don't. It's, it's just stupid uh, to get so many nemesis versions of characters when, like I said, we're not getting the other characters. So, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Is, is there a character that you haven't seen yet? I mean, uh, here's another good example right here. Dinobot. You know, I want to see the Beast Wars Grimlock. I would have bought that already. You know, at, at what was it, near two, three hundred dollars or whatever, I still would have bought that because, I mean, I love this figure. So, I w would love to have an actual excuse to buy a second one. I, I, I don't like them enough to do two, you know, one for each mode. I just, I can't bring myself to do that. Um... But, you know, like, like having the Optimus Primal and then the toy version of Optimus Primal. That was good repaint. I, I still want to see the universe, like the kind of purplish one. I still want to see that. But overall, I mean, it was a good, good choice by them, I think, to do that. But anyway, you guys have any ideas uh, on that one?